The second factor, as we're all aware of, is the seal. Uh, uh, this is and was the first implant to ever do this, and now it's being copied significantly because uh, uh, we know that this is important. We're not getting bacterial leakage in this area, and if we don't get bacterial leakage, again, we're not going to get bone loss from really periodontal reasons. Um, the narrow neck is important. Um, Many, many years ago, there was a study done by Bob James at Loma Linda, and it, was, it, it dealt with basically blade implants. But what he was looking at, what he was looking at the cuff of tissue around the neck of the implant. And what he found was that as that neck is narrower, the fibers of the connective tissue are tighter. So in pinching the neck of this implant, we're allowing those circumferential fibers to be much tighter than they would normally be, and therefore giving us another barrier to uh, possibly bacterial invasion of that spot.